Welcome to Quality Improvement, measuring quality of care with electronic quality measures. Today we are going to discuss the important topic of measuring quality through the use of electronic clinical quality measures, aka eCQMs. No doubt, whatever you do in health information technology, you will be producing reports about performance around quality and patient safety. Many of these reports may be reported externally to payers or for public reporting. It is critical to make sure these reports are accurate and as useful as possible. This unit will introduce the learner to different types of quality measures in use by national programs, including electronic clinical quality measures, ECQMs. We will also discuss how structured data entry and the design of electronic documents and flow sheets have a significant impact on the ability to extract quality measures data from the resulting databases. The importance of rigorous design and testing of system reports used for quality purposes is emphasized. Sample quality measures that are frequently requested of HIT systems are identified and questions that guide data extraction are suggested. The objectives for measuring quality of care with eCQMs are to 1. Understand the various types of quality and safety measures currently in use nationally. 2. Explain the attributes of an effective electronic clinical quality measures eCQMs reporting system. 3. Examine the importance of having standardized and structured health information for quality measurement especially electronic clinical quality measures, eCQMs. Four, discuss the role of HIT standards and terminologies in electronic clinical quality measures. Five, discuss how HIT can facilitate data collection and reporting for improving quality of care and patient safety. Six, describe data quality issues in electronic measures. ECQMs are one of the three main frameworks in which quality measures are developed and implemented. Historically, quality measures used data submitted for billing during the claims filing process. These data generally lacked adequate clinical information for comprehensive quality reporting and could only work in a fee-for-service environment. Retrospective chart abstraction by dedicated staff is rich in clinical content but is expensive and is generally unable to scale. While HIT can be leveraged as a data source for many types of quality measures reporting, eCQMs are an end-to-end, -end, completely electronic system where all components are digitally specified. eCQMs promise increased accuracy, assuming there are no issues with data quality, and greater clinical relevance while reducing the burden of manual data collection through abstraction. Being a completely electronic system, they can scale significantly, as quality measurement is a byproduct of data captured for care delivery. Quality measures, regardless of type, generally follow a life cycle depicted in this diagram. The eCQM life cycle is generally similar to other types of quality measures at a high level however, differ significantly in how eCQM specifications are developed, tested, and implemented. This is discussed in more detail in the next several slides. Most quality measures developed for use in national programs have well-defined and often NQF, National Quality Forum, endorsed specifications created by measure development professionals. Since eCQMs are a completely electronic system, eCQM specifications also need to be developed in a standardized and computer-readable format. This slide shows the significant measure development differences between eCQMs and chart abstraction measures. Under the eCQM column, you will see that there are several components that ensure electronic specifications eSpecs are standardized to facilitate machine readability without additional human intervention. 
ECQM specifications are designed to be read by both computers and humans and therefore consist of two components with two distinct use cases. The XML component is designed for, quote, ingestion, end quote, by computers. It is used most often by technical subject matter expert during ECQM implementation. The human readable component of the specification is designed for an end user to understand measure intent and application of logic to calculate various ECQM populations. For example, denominators, numerators, exceptions, and exclusions. Here we see a portion of the human readable health quality measures format, HQMF, specification. The reader can read how Boolean logic applied to various data elements, differentiated by font color, and embedded QDM functions will produce desired results according to the measure's intent when applied to EHR data representing a specific patient population. This slide shows the machine-readable XML of the HQMF specification designed to be parsed by a computer and matched up with data from an EHR to score the ECQM results. ECQMs are highly dependent upon standards used for data collection, measure specification development, and calculation of measure results for reporting. HQMF, Health Quality Measures Format, standard is used to develop ECQM specifications. QDM, Quality Data Model is a common logical data model that supports development of HQMF specifications using the MAT measure authoring tool. ECQM, quote, engines, end quote, apply HQMF to EHR data to calculate ECQM results. These results are formatted in the QRDA, Quality Reporting Document Architecture standard for reporting these measure results to internal and external entities. QRDA1 formats data at the individual patient level, while QRDA3 aggregates data at the measure level. Both these reporting formats are currently in use. This slide shows how the different ECQM standards work together. The measure authoring tool, MAT, is used by measure developers to generate HQMF specifications. The MAT uses the quality data model and follows all the required conventions. HQMF is then parsed by an ECQM engine and matches up with patient data to generate ECQM results in files according to the quality reporting document architecture. The QDM is an information model intended to standardize data elements as clearly and consistently defined concepts used in quality measures. This slide shows how the model categorizes data into categories and data types with one or more attributes. The model also defines relationships amongst data elements and functions to allow further specificity constraints in defining data used in quality measures. The diagnosis Active Diabetes Data Type Value Set, shown here, is uniquely identified by its OID, Object ID. Members of the value set are shown in three version specific code sets SNOMED CD, SNOMED CT, ICD 9, and ICD 10. This example demonstrates the importance of vocabularies and terminologies from standardized code sets in defining data types and or attributes as value sets, which form building blocks of the quality data elements described in more detail in the next slide. Quality data elements are the basic atomic unit of the QDM. These are further defined below. Category consists of a single clinical concept identified by a value set. Data type, the context in which each category is used to describe a part of the clinical care process. Attribute, provides specific detail about a QDM element. Value set, used to define the set of codes that can possibly be found in a patient medical record 
or a particular concept. This example is from the Condition, Problem, Diagnosis category. It shows related data types and attributes of the data types. Diagnosis. Active value sets consist of coded lists from standardized code sets, terminologies, and are used to provide specificity to data types and attributes. ECQMs require standardized patient data to generate accurate results. In general, this requires structured data capture of key data elements within the EHR using standardized nomenclature. Structured data captured using local terms needs to be mapped to standardized data elements. Historically, a large amount of patient data is often captured on paper and scanned in or as unstructured text. Conversion of unstructured text into codified structured data using NLP, natural language processing, algorithms offers promise in the future, especially for historical data. Most current EHR implementations are designed to capture at least some of the key data elements as structured data. This slide lists some of the more difficult data capture scenarios. The ECQI Resource Center website was created by ONC and CMS to provide a one-stop shop for the most current information on all aspects of ECQMs. It contains content of links to other websites with more specific content areas. It can be accessed through this link, www.healthit.gov forward slash ECQI dash resource dash center. The US HIK website provides access to complete ECQM specifications and meaningful use legislation. ECQM implementation requires close collaboration of a multidisciplinary team with representation from quality, IT, clinicians, and EHR quality reporting software representatives. Subject matter experts with more detailed knowledge of HQMF and HL7 standards may also be required, especially in cases of complicated measures. This slide shows the evolving national ECQM infrastructure to support ECQM development, testing, implementation, and certification of CEHRT quality modules. The components of this system include QDM, quality data model, which is the underlying logical data model to support ECQM specifications in health quality measures format, HQMF. MAT, measure authoring tool, is the primary tool used by measure developers to create HQMF-based ECQM specifications. VSAC, the Value Set Authority Center, is hosted and maintained at the National Library of Medicine, NLM. It contains all versions of value sets used in ECQMs. VSC, Value Set Harmonization Committee, is convened by NQF under contract from ONC to establish guidelines for development and harmonization of high-quality value sets and propose a framework for governance of this process at the national level. ONC JIRA, ticketing system maintained by ONC to resolve ECQM-related issues. Cypress, tool used for testing and certification of ECQM products. Bonnie, tool used to create test cases for ECQM measures development and testing. NTC, National Test Collaborative. CMS is facilitating the establishment of a National Test Collaborative as a public-private partnership to field test ECQMs prior to their release for general use in CMS programs. NQS, National Quality Strategy, established to prioritize the national quality agenda. Accuracy of ECQM results depends upon many factors, including data captured in a structured format with appropriate terminology codes or mapped to terminology codes and captured in well-designed and efficient clinical documentation workflow. Data extraction, if needed, should ensure all relevant data is pulled properly. And finally, the ECQM engine should have the correct programming logic conforming to the appropriate standards.
This concludes Measuring Quality of Care with ECQMs. In summary, measurement is an essential component of quality improvement. HIT has an important role to play in any measurement strategy. ECQMs are designed specifically to maximally leverage HIT and have the potential to revolutionize quality measurement.